coming up tomorrow at MetLife Stadium in nearby East Rutherford, New Jersey, nearby our studios, at 6.30 p.m. local time, Monster Energy AMA Supercross will take over the stadium, and we're pleased to be joined by R.J. Hampshire. He's a uh, one of the participants. He's had a very good season so far. He finished a career-best second in the 250 East last year in 2022, and so far this year, he's finished second place in five of seven races in 2023. R.J., we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It's Now, I, I know there's people watching uh, this right now going, wait a minute, all right, super motocross, uh, baseball, but there is a connection here. You were a recruited high school athlete, and baseball nearly became, you know, a, a, it's been a big part of your life, was a big part of your life, and it nearly became an even bigger part of your life. Tell us your journey. Yeah, um, I'm still a huge fan of the sport, of course. Yeah. Um, growing up, you know, that's all I played was baseball. Uh, I raced motocross because my family did, and um, always kind of, my dad always told me I had the choice to pick between motocross and um, supercross or uh, baseball. Well, I uh, came down to it, um, played all the way up to my junior year of high school and um, had, a, had a choice to make whether to either we stick with baseball and try to go to college and, and move on in that career or uh, go the opposite way and choose motocross. Um, it was a tough, tough kind of thing to sell to my, my dad uh, when it came down to it because he always thought I would choose baseball over motocross. Um, whenever I chose motocross, it was... Uh, it was a gamble for sure, yeah. um, but look where we're at in life now. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's Give fun. us a little thumbnail scouting report on R.J. Hampshire, the baseball player. Uh, I mean, I was an awesome catcher, uh, you know, my freshman, uh, sophomore year in, in high school. Uh, and my knee kind of bothered me a little bit from, from race motocross. Uh, I broke my femur and stuff. So things kind of transitioned a little bit. I was uh, more of a pitcher, kind of infield, outfield, just kind of put me wherever. Um, but I was really trying to focus on, you know, being a pitcher and, uh, that's kind of where, where it was going leading into my junior year. Being an extreme athlete, and that's what you are. I mean, this is, this is high-level, dangerous, high-level, exciting action. What is your what, – what, how, why? I mean, what is the mindset you have to have to compete at this level? I mean, this, RJ, this is just – this is physical, this is dangerous, this is exciting. I that, mean, that reason right there. Right there? That, that win, and it's, and it's all on you. And that's the difference between, you know, the motocross and, and baseball side is there's so much that goes into that moment right there. And, um, you know, until you experience that, you'll never understand why we choose it. Um, and, man, it's, it's really a special, special feeling. Um, I was reading and doing some prep for this uh, segment. I was reading a, a story where you, you suffered a pretty serious um, – you spent some time in the hospital when you were 17. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty early on. And, and I, I read where your dad said, you know, a lot of people would have quit after that. But RJ, it made him even more determined. How so? Yeah, and that, and that point right there is what kind of changed my way of, of doing it. Like, look, I wasn't going to ride motocross for fun anymore. It was either, you know, I'm going to do it and this be my job um, or I'm not going to do it anymore because of that risk factor. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It just it's something in that hospital. I spent, I think it was 21 days in there um, at that young of an age where it was like, look, I, I have something for this. And if uh, I dedicate everything to it, um, you know, things will turn out. And yeah, sure enough, I, uh, I took the right gamble there. Uh, you mentioned that the uh, you told us before that the season starts in January, wraps up usually around September. Uh, you mentioned you still love the game. You grew up a Braves fan. Now living in the Tampa area, you've become a Tampa Bay Rays fan. Two very good teams to root for these days. Oh, yeah. How do you consume the game? How do you keep up with it during with your busy schedule? Uh, well, like you said, our season starts in January, and uh, sure enough, round one's at Angel Stadium. So right there is one of our biggest races. Um, and, you know, growing up, seeing the Rocks out in center field, you know, that's special. And then just happened to be there, and, yeah, it's not the same sport, but to be there racing on that field was uh, it was really special. And, um, yeah, I mean, just, just to be able to do it and, you know, experience all these different, different areas. Uh, Coliseum was another huge one for me. I, yeah. I rode really well out this year. Uh, Petco Park was was so awesome to go into, um, and yeah, this weekend we're we're you know racing in the stadium here at MetLife, baseball stadium. Um, but still, man, it, it's something special. And you know the Yankees and, and Red Sox, like, yeah, you know that's a team has a lot of hype around it. But man, I'm a, I'm a Tampa guy now, and uh, they're kind of like the underdog just because of the the budget that that team has, and, right. and, and to still be there every year, it's. It's cool to see, and yeah, huge fan of them. And uh, you know, like you mentioned, the Atlanta Braves back in the day, Chipper Jones was my guy. That was so, your favorite yeah, player growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that right? was my guy growing up. So anytime, you know, that that's who I was rooting for.
So as I mentioned, the big race is tomorrow. There's a good look at uh, Chipper from both sides, the mock turtleneck in full effect. Uh, I mean, he inspired so many young players in the, in the Southeast, but also nationwide. Uh, I mentioned the big race is tomorrow, 6.30 uh, local time there at, at MetLife. For, for people that are watching, maybe haven't, Maybe they've seen motocross on TV, flipping around, but maybe haven't experienced it in person. What would you tell them about, you know, giving it a try? Man, it's it's a it's a show. It's a massive show, and uh, we we definitely put on uh, you know a great event. Like, you know, you see a bunch of uh, of really tight racing, um, high speeds on the on the start straights, and uh, you know the triple jumps out there. You know, 70, 75 feet, and you know we're jumping three stories high. Uh, so if, if you've never seen something or are you seen like the things on, you know, Instagram or social media of just guys out riding, Supercross is completely different. There's so much action packed into, you know, one, one day, one night, one race. Um, hey, you, you're not going to expect what, what happens throughout the day. Hey, well, thanks for coming in. Stay safe. Oh, our producer was saying he was peeping your Instagram, and he said there's a lot of photos of him in the hospital. <laughs> so <laughs> you no. be careful, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and we do want to offer you to take your, um, uh, your, your, your motocross bike and go into Studio 42, take some laps around, just, you know, <laughs> just try it out, test it out. We would love that, and the, uh, the uh, operators here at the studio would love that. Oh, I'm sure I can get to the front yeah, door. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming in, yep, RJ. Thanks. Best Appreciate of luck this season. You got it.